I hate to say this, but you need to be prepared to be hacked. Yes, so in this electronic world that we live in, there's a possibility you will be hacked in your lifetime. Now that's a possibility, it's not guaranteed, but you need to be prepared to be hacked. So here's a few steps you need to take while you're online doing your shopping or stuff like that. One thing I do is I have a special card that I use only for online shopping. So don't use your main card that you have the bag of money. So get you a special card just for online shopping. That way if that card gets compromised, it won't be your main bank card. So that way while the credit card company is working on straightening out the issue, your bank is not affected. Now PayPal has this PayPal credit. So you might want to check into that. You can apply for it and places that you shop online that will accept PayPal as a payment use that instead because that's not affected with your bank account that's something you pay after you get the bill and even if it's just a simple purchase you might be buying something for 25 dollars for instance use that credit card or use the paypal credit then once you get the bill pay off that 25 dollars because that will make you a little bit safer online because you're not shopping directly from your personal bank account and those are the steps i take there's other steps you can take to, to protect yourself even offline. Like for me, I got the gas card. Now the gas card is particular to that gas station. It's connected to my bank account, but it's a next barrier between the gas card and my bank. So there's nothing to compromise right there because those gas station, you know, they put those little gadgets on the gas pump to steal your credit card information. Well, if you're using a gas card, all it's doing is taking that information off the gas card and not your actual bank account. So there's nothing they can do with that gas card information. So that's one step you can take while you're offline. Now, the problem with the gas card is it's usually particular to one gas station and you probably can't use it nowhere else. Now, for that purpose, what I have is what I call an offline spending account. So that's a separate bank account with a low balance on it. So I would say, I don't know, anywhere from 250 to 500. So that way you can use that to spend at the Chinese store, Target, Walmart, other gas station, because you always see it in the news like Target and other places like that get compromised with the credit card information. And if you need to spend more than that, you just apply the necessary funds to that account and most of the time you can do that stuff online now through an app because it's easy for you to do things easier now you don't have to run down to the bank and transfer funds from one account to the next you can just do it within the app so you can transfer a fund from one bank to the next or one account to the next so those are some of the steps you might want to take online and offline get an online spending account and shop out of that one separated from your bank account and the same thing with it offline get you an offline spending account that's separated from your bank account because in this world that we live in now you have to be prepared to be hacked